So I, <clears throat> this is kind of funny. Um, Jackie the Joke Man was just on Home Shopping Network selling yeah. selling joke. Could joke things. Selling something. jokes. Probably. No, joke machine. A joke for machine? For kids, and it's funny, but I think we've run out of time to play it. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I was looking forward to hearing. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm. what time was he on? What time Lisa, what time was he on? It was on at 7 o'clock, the Sunrise Show. Oh, early in the wow. morning, okay. Yeah, sorry we missed it, but we do have it on tape. Yeah. Oh, really good. Okay, great. Was it funny? No, it wasn't funny at all. I just thought it was kind of interesting that they announced him as um, Jackie from the Howard Stern Show, and he hasn't been on your show for how many years now? Four and a half at least. Yeah, Four he's a, a long year. way from. That's what they mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because Gary listened to it and said they mentioned me more than him. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was the big thing was Jackie from the Howard Stern Show. Jackie who taught Howard everything he knows. What? Well. What was that last line? I'm sure that was the joke, Robin. Yeah, that was the joke. That was the only joke from the show. That's one of the jokes on his machine. Yeah. That's not a joke, it's just... Wait, now i got to hear a little bit. To a special guest that is joining us here on Sunrise this morning. Wow. And as a matter of fact, all I can do is tell you is this guy knows jokes, okay? Jackie the Joke Man is going to be joining us here live. As a matter of fact, you know him from the Howard Stern Show. That's right. And from what he tells me, he taught Howard everything he knows. Okay? So we're going <laughs> to get ready. Wow. <laughs> Who's that guy? He's auditioning for a morning zoo. That guy, yeah, I like that, that guy. guy. Hello? That guy's hilarious. That guy's been shot out of a cannon. <laughs> 58 degrees and breezy. Hey, listen to this. I just ran into Jackie the Joke about Bopling. <laughs> hey, coming up on the afternoon drive time, my buddy Dealey Conrad. I'm just like, what? What? Yeah, I didn't know there were people who really talked like that. Oh, that guy's fantastic, man. <laughs> yeah, I talk like that. Let's try to have an operation. He's a joke machine, that guy. I'm a joke. <laughs> right, now i got to listen to some of it. Yeah. He's in. great. <laughs> right now, though, we know that there are a lot of you out there watching today. Matter of fact, we happen to hear that Howard Stern might be watching our show this morning. Hey, Howard, good show. Um, hey, Howard, good show. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's amazing. Howard, at this point, it's five to one, you beating Jackie in mentions. Yeah, so far, Howard Stern has been the guest. Yeah, were you on? Uh, evidently. <laughs> Lady today, Holocaust memorial plates. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these are beautiful uh, recreations of the Holocaust on your dinner plates. <laughs> <laughs> it's bone china. <laughs> Made out of Jew bones. <laughs> Them Jew bones, Jew bones of Jew bones. <laughs> okay, let's get serious now. These plates fit perfectly in any oven. Which, I'm insane. <laughs> Unlike the Jews, these plates go into your oven without all the screaming. No whining, like wah, wah, I'm going in the oven. <laughs> wah, you're putting me in the oven, wah. Experience Auschwitz like you were there. I love the dishwasher. <laughs> Ever wonder what it was like to be at Auschwitz? <laughs> New Auschwitz plates from the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> Treat these plates just like a Jew in World War II. First give them a shower and then put them in the oven. <laughs> Steam them up. <laughs> Perfect for the filter fish. Give them a gas. <laughs> We've got they a great show lined up for you because we have a special guest coming up as well. You know, it's Anne Frank. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you think about the Howard Stern show, there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of unique jokes, and, and certainly there are a lot of fans everywhere. Millions and millions of Americans nationwide. One of his guests... Uh, Jackie the Joke Man, everybody knows him, has created a set of remarkable, they're called joke toys, for our kids, for his mom and dad. What? Dan Farazza is joining us today from Excalibur. Jackie has been with the Howard Stern Show for over 15 years as, a mate, as an ensemble player and also as the head writer. And he also does many gigs around the country in many uh, comedy clubs. And he lent his expertise to these products. We have All right, at this point, wow. I'm, beating, I'm beating him in terms of mentions. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's hardly there. <laughs> well, that's some buildup. Nice. What is the joke machine? <laughs> He's, there's what? not just one, there's several. You don't know? Explanatory joke. I mean, Jeff, really, how much information do you need? There are several joke toys, if you will. I'm curious as to how it works. I just don't get it. I think Jackie's there to explain it. They're going to bring him out. You know, for probably close to the same dough, you could get Jackie. 
<laughs> Couldn't you? Sure. <laughs> you know. 50 bucks. Two shows a night. You know, a joke toy is not a good thing. See, if you had been smart enough to invent a joke toy, maybe Terry Hatcher would have called you back. <laughs> You're the inventor of the joke toy? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Did you, are you the inventor of the joke toy? I understand you developed a machine that works on several levels. <laughs> Is that what he just said? It works on several levels? Several levels, yes. Yeah. There's different levels of jokes. Kids and adults. Kids and adults. They're amazing joke toys. That's Four the... great products here that he endorses are made by Excalibur. They're for the whole family. They are good Clean. Oh, wait a minute, hold it. You know what? I'm getting kind of uncomfortable here. I am too. I don't this like this. This is not a live Jackie. Okay? No, it's not. Let's get this out of here because right now. It's a cardboard Jackie they had there. Oh, yeah. that's a joke. Like a sight jokes too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make all the fun you want. I'm getting free publicity. <laughs> they made a cardboard cut out of Jackie. Yeah. Wow, they went to a lot of effort for this thing. No, I'm sure Jackie made it. <laughs> you know, Sirius Radio doesn't even make a cardboard cut out of me. Okay, here comes the cut. You know, Jimmy should write that to you tonight. Hey, what's wrong with Sirius? They don't make a cardboard cut out of you? And Jimmy Kimmel's making me mental. He sends me an email or two a day. About what? About, like, telling me everything Sirius Radio should be doing. Like, I just signed the deal, you know. It, it's a five-year project. Right. You know, it's a big project. But, but Jimmy's like... How come Sirius isn't doing a special offer to get everyone Sirius radios? And, like, they should be pushing for Christmas because it's a great Christmas gift. And why aren't they doing that? So I go, who is this guy? <laughs> I mean, what is he, you know, like, 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 what, like, you it's know, he's sweet. not exactly doing great, though. <laughs> I mean, he worried about your career? I don't see ABC doing any kind of special <laughs> offer for him or putting him in any promos. Thank you, Mike yeah. Ovitz. But, I mean, like, we have stuff planned, but, like, it's a little premature, but... Yeah, that is. Jimmy's like worried. Jimmy's worried. Kind of like a tail gunner telling the pilot how to fly the plane. And Jimmy goes, ever since you made the announcement about going to satellite, uh, the L.A. radio station is screwing up the show. They're cutting out major portions of it, and they're, and they're putting in too many commercials, like even more than usual. And I'm like, well, this only gets me crazy. But then again, why do I care? But I care. And I write back, I don't care. And then I, But I care. But I'm just wondering why Jimmy is... Feel, he feels it's his job to inform you, keep you aware of it. Well, maybe he feels like he's been through enough on his show and he's seen enough mistakes where he's trying to, you know, I yeah. know. You know, yeah, well, you know he's trying to... Yeah, he's straightened out all those mistakes and now he wants to teach me. Well, it's I'm a going by. He's looking out for you. Right. thinking he's got, you've got a five-year commitment. Mm -hmm. Isn't Jimmy like sort of year to year? Year to year. How about every three weeks oh. they decide whether they're going to renew him? I he should you. be worried about himself. I think I'm handling my career just fine. <laughs> Maybe he's just laying pipe for his, for the, you know, come on, come on board with you over here. Maybe. Well, we've talked. Yeah, maybe you need to run his whole serious thing. Yeah. Um, um, joining us on Sunrise. Right. Jackie. <laughs> Jackie the Jackie. Welcome. Man. I will try to be more animated than the, uh... <laughs> All right, now the fun... Oh, that's Jackie? That's Jackie. But the fun will begin tomorrow. We'll listen to it. That must be businessman Jackie. Yeah, that is. He's got the regular voice on. Well... <laughs> yeah, that's when he loses that... It's just like, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm trying to say that this is a clean product. <laughs> this is the Bill Gates jacket. I think I have to hear more. I do. I'm. You know, I'd be hooked as soon as. Yeah, but I gotta. I gotta get out of here today, and then we won't have time for news. Aww. So it's a question of do you want to do this now? Well, what's hotter news than a joke machine? There that, you go. That I gotta find levels. out how it works. <laughs> Seven killed in Fallujah, and Jackie has a joke machine. <laughs> Jackie has four joke machines. Wait, Jackie's on the phone. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Helen, it's Jackie Jokeman. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Captain Jenks, yes. <laughs> hey, good morning, Howard. Good morning. You know, I got an email, like this is some time back, from somebody that says that Jackie still introduces himself. They went and saw him at a live club, that he still introduces himself as Jackie the Joke Man from the Howard Stern Show. No, I wouldn't have believed that. But after listening to what you just played, you know, I bet you he does that still. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, he hasn't been with the show for what now, four or five years? Yeah, but it is his credit. Yeah, yeah he, he was might, on the show. He might be using it like, uh, you know, guys use the Tonight, you know, you've seen yeah. it on a Tonight Show. I mean, you know what? You know, like, you still see uh, David Brenner running around going, he hosted the Tonight Show. Right. Yeah. It was 100 he, years ago. He never, he never like, um, you know, was fired. He quit on his right. own will. That's uh, true. 
So, I mean, it's like, what, everything's anything. Who are you, well, Jimmy Kimmel, you... trying to get me worked up? <laughs> what do you want him to say? Jackie, who quit the Howard Stern? <laughs> yeah, that would be the proper credit. And now <laughs> Jackie, who quit the greatest job he ever had. That's a great ramp up at a nightclub. <laughs> Here's a guy who wasn't happy being successful. Do you think that he's still making good money, Howard? No. I introduced myself at clubs as Artie Lang, winner of the job lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's still got all the shanties and stuff. He's the winner of the job lottery. The luckiest construction worker on earth. Yeah. <laughs> if he plays his cards right, he's never going to have to invent a joke machine. Yeah. Artie Lane. Right. He might actually get to retire. <laughs> that lucky longshoreman. Oh, and, hey, by the way, Howard. Yeah. By the by the way, I'm doing trivia tonight at Tex Mac Connection in North Wales. <laughs> yeah, Tom <laughs> Jags from the Howard Stern, Stern Show. show. Yeah, yeah, and I'm and I'll be giving away at uh, Jackie's joke stuff. Great. Oh. Not really. Thank you, Jenks. Thanks. Jenks playing up that trivia night over at yeah, Tex Mex. Yeah. Jeff Cesario over at uh, Hilarities, Fourth Street Theater in Cleveland, Ohio. Or some people call it. Hillarities. Hillarities. <laughs> that might be a strip joint. Hillarities. Hillarities. I think it's called 216 241 7425. Check out Jeff at sportalicious.com. By the way, hilarities might want to look into that because, like, I'm reasonably intelligent. I graduated summa cum laude, and I'm looking at that going, hilarities. <laughs> Didn't look right, eh? No. i got to figure a lot of people are making that mistake. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do a little news. All right. Uh, a lot of folks that watch the Howard Stern show, you were telling me in the green room here, too, that literally, if it weren't for you, there would be no Howard Stern. Oh, please. Uh, please. <laughs> now, you know I didn't say that. I never said that. I never uttered words in my life. Oh, my God. So let's talk about this, too. How did you... <laughs> I never say that. Who is that guy? It's Jackie Businessman. <laughs> Man, that's like a bad corporate date. I'm sure Jack is just trying to get out of it at this point. He likes that stuff. Yeah, I'm sure that he was having a great time. Looking forward to it. There's a new miracle pill on the horizon. Tell it me it makes you, my penis bigger. No. It helps you lose weight, oh, quit smoking, that. and fights heart disease all at the same time. Yay! Wow. I wish yeah. I had invented that. It's called happiness. It is a new kind of drug. They say that many of the people in a test study, a third of them, as a matter of fact, lost 10% of their body weight and kept it off for two years. That's longer than any diet drug on the market, according to this new research. It also uh, helps people to stop smoking. They discovered this when they were, you know, using it to treat heart disease, that it had these uh, side effects. And they said that then they turned their attention to, you know, making it into a diet drug. They said the FDA will uh, probably give it approval very soon, and it would be sold under, what is the name? I think it's called Accomplia or something like that. Celebrex with a Coke Center. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, I have a very good friend uh, who might need help in those areas. How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first in a new class of drugs that fights <clears throat> cravings, particularly for food and nicotine. Yes, John. Howard, how do you jerk us with just a little bit of that Jackie thing? You've got to play the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Come on. Because we, we're going to start from the very beginning tomorrow. we got to dis dissect this whole thing. But isn't that smart, though? Then you have to tune in tomorrow. But, I tune, but it, we tune in every day anyway. Oh, that's true, too. Come on. It's called a teaser in radio. Right. <laughs> Apparently, you're not the one who went to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Did they teach you that at Connecticut School of Broadcasting? Uh, I'm sure they did, but I was probably having a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were busy in Rhode Island, if right. I'm not mistaken, my friends. <laughs> exactly. Did you learn nothing from Cabby? You just blurred out, yeah, I think I did have sex in Rhode Island, right on the air. <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, it's one of four states. <laughs> Robin, what else is in the news? Uh, now they're <laughs> trying to blame the little boy. Boy in this uh, scandal between the 29-year-old woman and the 8-year-old. Is that the Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake story? No. Is, is, do they have about that age, age spread? 29 and 8? Could be, but this little boy is now being blamed by the mother of Tammy Emery. She says yeah. it's the little boy's fault. Her yeah. daughter's a good girl. And yeah. was this. She was that just too kid. friendly. He wore short shorts. <laughs> what? He was asking Getting me. up chubby sausage. The Wayfish Emery told police when she was arrested it was her fantasy. I was the girlfriend and he was the boyfriend and someday we could be in a relationship. The boy had a key to the house. 
He plied me with Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> and the pair would sneak upstairs to have their sex sessions oh. while Emery's daughter was downstairs watching TV. Unbelievable. Nice. What a mom. Well, I don't think going with the defense that the boy, it was his fault. Yeah, boy led me into it, that's going to be a tough one. you got to just go with, you know what, I was crazy. Yeah. I, I, I plead on the mercy of the court. I need help. I think it's all of a sudden sinking in. They say when she heard the uh, news radio talking about her case, she broke down in tears. Hmm. So oh, that's finally they get it. <laughs> this was not a good thing. She was apparently upset at work on Friday. One of her coworkers said Emery told them about a month ago child welfare workers had taken her daughter away from her. Seeing the kid cry wasn't enough. She had to hear it on radio news. <laughs> it brings a sense of reality to it all. Yeah, when you hear other people say it. You know how you hear people say it? If you heard other people saying this, what would you do? Yeah, it, re it really hits home that I've been banging a kid. <laughs> all right, now I feel bad, so I'll play a little more Jackie. In. <laughs> That was right after you told me there was no home shopping network about you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> that, that's true. Uh, well, we all believe that. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk Thank about, let's talk about some of these products. Yeah. They are great. These they are cool. And, and, I, and I happen to... Jackie getting right down to business. Let's endorse yeah. some products. Take the, the Joke Master Junior home to my kids. And I, and I, and I have an right. 11-year-old. Why? 7-year-old. They had a blast with this. They go nuts. Every kid that has gotten this thing oh, has just flipped for it. Uh, the day that we got the first one... We had all the kids over from the Excalibur Electronics family to take pictures for the box, and they were fighting over it. And that's when we knew we... Come on. Wow. What, the box they were fighting over? No, the kids were fighting over the electronic Excalibur joke machine. Oh, do the no. kids who have to uh, manufacture them in Thailand, do they, have, do they get a big kick out of it? They don't even understand the jokes. <laughs> they had a great product. Right. They're the greatest knock-knock jokes, elephant jokes, and kids' jokes that we all heard when we were kids. That and, could be uh, fun. It, it's fun because there's 140 yeah, of them, kids? which is... Endless for for a five or seven year old kid. That's an unbelievable amount of jokes. Plus, if I use it when I lure eight year olds into my <laughs> lair. Could somebody hit a button yeah, on one yeah. of these things and let Who's me hear it? it? It's, it's coming up. From what I understand, I'm handing it out. Okay. If you hit the I, it repeats. So if a kid hears a joke and he really loves it. He runs up and says, Mommy, Mommy, listen to this one. He hits the eye and replays it. Right. So not only are there 140 jokes, but if you play each one five times each, we're up in the thousands. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cook. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! What are you, a clock? <laughs> the kids are going to love this. They love it. Yeah. You know, every kid goes oh through. My what you? If I was a kid, I'd punch someone. That was the worst joke. <laughs> oh, it's for a five-year-old. I don't think five-year-olds would like that joke. No, they would. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Cuckoo. Yeah. Cuckoo who? But he goes, cuckoo. You can't... <laughs> what are you, a cuckoo clock? It's what are you not nuts? Clear. <laughs> what are you? What are you a pig? What are you a homo? <laughs> what are you a homo? Yeah, you kid. Knock knock. Who's that cuckoo? What are you a homo? <laughs> go upstairs and screw your mother. Or something. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, it's going over upstairs. to have sex they with don't the neighbor. Get out of here. Lives like me. You know. Sure. But uh, from the age of five, seven, nine, they all go through it at a different time. None but of the even ages. Every just kid loves the jokes, and usually they go through these joke stages, and they wind up coming up and mommy, mommy, uh, knock knock, who's there? Uh, Santa Claus, why? Because he has ice cream, and you have to laugh because yeah, it's right, not funny. Think it's a joke. <laughs> what is it? Hold it. Santa Claus, why? Because wow. he has ice cream. Who's Santa there? Claus. Knock knock, who's there? Santa Claus, why? Because he has ice cream. That's what he's Santa Claus. Who? Well, maybe not to right. a five-year-old. I don't know. I don't get uh, that. Seriously. Uh, say it again. What would I, say? I think I was going through a retrospective of all the jokes <laughs> and all the stages that a child would go from seven to eight to nine. Yes, Louise. Yeah, how how you doing? All right, brother. Oh, uh, how would you love to help me, puppy? What? My wife, you know, she... Uh, I can't tell what you. What is that? I think there's a comedy bit going on. That's the uh, the the adult joke box. Yeah, that's available on Joke Machine Three. <laughs> Puppy. Yeah, yeah, these jokes jokes will be now funny. they actually have jokes, so they right. can run around and play them. And uh, it, for a kid that's not that popular, it's fantastic because all of a sudden he's part of the game. You know, he can go into the group and he. Sure. Can, the psychological profile of the joke machine. Wow! It's for so if your kid is unpopular, get it for him. Hey, I yeah. I'm a geek, but <laughs> hey, this will win the, the kids over. Hi, kids. Knock, knock, Santa Claus. If these kids from Columbine had these joke machines, <laughs> <laughs> they would have been in the crowd. Yeah. Did he just say that uh, it's good for unpopular yes. kids? Yes. Yeah. yeah he did. Hey, Rosa, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, the philanthropist, trying to help children. Wow. 
Hey, I'll, I'll give you a dollar to listen to my joke machine. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get for Christmas? Joke machine. Oh, so you're unpopular. All of a sudden, makes it popular, and the kid who's already popular loves to have jokes. You know, it, it, we, yeah. It's, you know how much Jackie gets laid. It's a great gift if your kids are retarded. In 30 years, they can be on the whole shopping club. Yeah, if your child's retarded, these are easy enough to memorize. It's a retarded stocking stuffer. <laughs> How about if you're really lonely, you can talk to the machine and pretend it's your friend. That's right. Pretend you're friends with Jackie. Hey, Mongoloid, here's your gift. I'm going to take my joke machine to the beach. And it'll talk to me. You can do the cuckoo joke at the ocean. <laughs> hey, Mo. <laughs> I like, you know, I don't mind Jackie out there selling stuff. Listen, that's how you that's make a living. That's what he does. But the t if you're unpopular, if you get the joke machine, it'll make you popular? I don't think so. <laughs> Want to make you more unpopular? That's asking a little bit too much from the joke machine. You know what? <laughs> the only thing that's going to help is an unpopular kid buy some pot <laughs> and give it to people. I hope the joke machine is soft plastic because that kid's going to get the tar beat out of him with it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi, how's this for funny? Whack, whack. Come here, I'm going to beat you with my joke machine. Can that joke machine take a punch? <laughs> Let me see your joke machine, unpopular kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right. now, the, oh, wait a minute. You know, there's a selling point that everybody says is very silly. But this is a little rectangular box, kid. and everybody goes nuts wrapping stuff for Christmas. Right. And this is the <laughs> ideal thing to wrap. It's a little rectangle, which is so simple. And anybody can wrap it's this not and do a for good me. job. I'm seeing that big Jackie smile See, coming out. Originally, He's I was trying, trying to do a circular to... joke machine, but that was very hard to wrap. <laughs> hey, I just, there's a selling point here, you know? It's a rectangle, and who can't everybody wrap it? Everybody laughs at me when I say this. Hey, Vinny, I just made a nerd eat his joke machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know that nerd? Yeah. yeah. I made him eat his joke machine. <laughs> you punch him in the belly, you can hear a joke. <laughs> <laughs> now you hey, go him. punch Poindexter in the belly. He's got a great one about your face. <laughs> well, I got to get that thing. Hey, can, hey, Gary, get me one of those for the, for tomorrow's show. Yeah, you don't have any of the joke machines? We yeah. had hundred of them at one time, but uh, I'll bring one from home. Oh, well, there's a lot laying around. Yeah. But kids are cerebral palsy. <laughs> hey, grab a package. Like, wow. You know, like everything life. Excalibur does, the, the boxes are beautiful. So the opening of it, when you see it, it's just a beautiful it's box. Already, but what's inside, box we can. We're box. trying to do that. <laughs> There's nothing inside. Now, There's just see, the Dan box. thinks he could sell ads. <laughs> You're right. And he has in the past. I have in the past. Uh, but true. you also have uh, the Joke Master 2. Now, this actually has clean jokes joke for those of you that maybe. This has 1,100 jokes in right. 29 right. different categories. It also has a little backlight, yeah. so if you're in a restaurant right. or a bar, <laughs> you can sneak away. And uh, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is actually it's just ridiculous. I think, that, you know, I, I think that you know, sums it up. If I'd have had the Joke Master 2 when I was trying to date Terry Hatcher. <laughs> Wait a minute. I might have been able to keep The Joke Master 2 has a light on it, so let's say you're in a bar. You or can, a restaurant. Or a restaurant. Oh, you can yeah. walk away and kind of just interact with it. Well, no, you get a joke and then you come back to the table and you tell it he's going to prompt you through the dinner joke master two for the really 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 unpopular kid <laughs> be unpopular your whole life <laughs> well, you, yeah. leave, you leave the table and you come back and interrupt and just go knock knock <laughs> then you come back popular <laughs> oh wow if you were an unpopular kid and you had joke master now there's joke master two so you can continue being unpopular when you grow up <laughs> you're an unpopular adult <laughs> <laughs> wow. No Just friends? Sneak away from the table. <laughs> you haven't had one friend in the 52 years of existence. <laughs> You, you're clearly going to be approaching strangers with the joke master too, because <laughs> you don't have any friends. Be cool. You can put this in like a buffet table. Put this around the you know coffee table. Dad's and workshop. You can put it in the car. Dad's workshop. Now why has he got it in Dad's <laughs> workshop? Put it in the workshop. You can put it in the Oval Office. <laughs> Dad's workshop. Put it in a nuclear reactor. <laughs> what are you talking about? 1958. You can bring Dad's it to the World workshop. Trade Center where thousands of people died. <laughs> people died. All right, now there's where they needed a joke machine. Oh, the man. survivors need a good knock on joke. The guy's digging through the rubble. And next to you, and while your friends are there. state workers look out the window in the morning? Because then they'd have nothing to do in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, you know how you know when it's really oh, cold? You see a dog frozen to a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know, and most of us, I know that as parents, you're probably thinking, wait, 
I think that the guy who's the host is reeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? How do you know what it's really he cold? He stopped yucking it up. How I bad really is it? I don't know who to sell this to. How do you know when it's really cold when the dog is stuck to the fire? Yeah. How do you know when you're sick? When you throw up. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's looking around right now going, man, where's the dude with the Ginsu knife? <laughs> How do you know when you're bleeding? When you got a bullet hole, damn it! <laughs> oh man! I still don't. Are you saying this is to amuse yourself? I'm not saying any of them. I don't. I'm trying to understand. You know, because it's in Dad's work uh, shop there. <laughs> so Dad can beat you with it. I don't know when it's hot out. When the dog is in How do you know it's hot? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, when the dog becomes unglued from the fire. <laughs> the dog's not stuck to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Show. No, you know what? Man, and, and Jackie, too, bad. they've created jokes that are clean for the kids, that the kids are going to love, they're going to have a lot of fun with, that, you know, you can be you know, you can be comfortable with having your kids. Yeah, do. the Christians will enjoy it. You know, it's so funny. They're knock-knock jokes and elephant jokes. It's so funny. Jokes and silly stuff. And so yeah. many people have told me they've given it to their kids, and the kids have sat there at the dinner table or at the breakfast table playing the jokes. The next thing they know, they're laughing hysterically because they're the old, fun, stupid jokes. Yes, so yeah, right. the ones we laughed at. It's my voice kids, speaking you know? up, so it's a little bit fun. It's yeah. a little bit... <laughs> Okay. There's one other thing. There's one other thing. Uh, this says for ages 5 to 10, but I have found out uh -oh. that younger kids, 3-year-olds, 4-year-olds, wow. they're so voracious. Everyone give me money. <laughs> you have an unpopular 3-year-old. I'm, I'm working one up for the fetus. I'm working one up for the swollen belly. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you have a nerdy fetus. <laughs> Unpopular fetus is left this time. Uh, don't wait till birth. <laughs> if you're an unpopular fetus, <laughs> the artist will not oh, abort. <laughs> Just to learn. And they oh, want to yeah. learn the words. Right. They want to learn what everything means. And they also like my stupid gig giggle so that little three-year-olds are playing these and they're asking people to explain the jokes and they want to know why their six-year-old brother and seven-year-old sister are laughing at these things right. so it goes even younger and younger. i got one knock knock who's there uh, what does it look Open like your is wallet it's <laughs> perfectly rectangular easy for wrapping knock knock who's there danny danny who is anybody home <laughs> right wait i can't hear you what if you push the eye, you can hear that joke again. I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> yeah, once was enough. I think after that, the three-year-old is still wondering why the six-year-old's laughing. I'm going to wait for a really good one to hit the eye. Okay. What do you get from a nervous cow? A milkshake. <laughs> I'm, not, I love I'm not hitting the eye. No. Where does a cow <laughs> artist put his paintings? In a museum. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes I come back to the table when I'm on a hot date. <laughs> I use the museum line. Oh my! All right. The you know what really though? Like that laugh? You got to give one of these to uh, to uh, Sal and uh, Richard Christie. Let them make calls. Yeah. Only phone calls. Yeah. Where does the general keep his armies? In his pleadings. <laughs> In his what? I didn't hear it. See, that's what I'm saying. It's not clear. A lot of it isn't clear. You can hit the eye. Where does the general hit the eye again? Where does the general, the general keep his army? Yeah, but this it is... is oh. <laughs> this is light years ahead of its time, though. In his pleadings. Armies and his threebies. In his pleadings? Where does the general keep his army? In his pleadings. Pleadings? In his... I don't know. I, I still don't hear it. Armies wow. and his... Oh, I know what it is. I just figured out the joke. Pleads. In his sleeveys. His armies in his uh, sleeve. Oh. I still don't get it. Army sleeve. Your arms in your sleeve. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you get it? Where does the general keep his armies in his sleeve? Where does the general keep his armies in his sleeve? In his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody kicked him in the head while he was telling the truth. Where does the general keep his armies in his sleeve? What's a ventriloquism? <laughs> I'm sure there's nowhere on the internet you could get these jokes. <laughs> You missed it, Fred? Yeah, what would, I don't even... How do you get in touch with a fish? You drop him a line. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Whoa. 
That's right. Three year old laughs because he sees the eight and the nine year old laugh. Explain to me how you get popular from this again, Jackie. Oh, you see what happens is because you play me and you annoy everyone. And they begin to like you and talk to you because they want you to stop playing this stupid machine. <laughs> How does my child become popular? Well, he brings around the seven and the eight year old. Oh, no, 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 there's four separate gifts, John, for everybody the calculator, the Joke Master 2, the Joke it, Machine, the and the. A three legged dog walks into a bar and says, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. <laughs> oh. So we didn't say all the jokes are really good jokes? No. All right. I invest in the kids. Right. A three legged dog walks no, into a bar. That's the adult. Uh, I that, oh, I see. You, know, you always uh, get those party gifts that they say, right. you know, bring something under 20 bucks. Right. And you got him. You're gonna, yeah. If you, if you open this again. up and you laugh twice, you're already ahead of the game. You're absolutely exactly. right. It's much better than a tie. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I've had some bad ties in the past. Although uh, we're going to be coming out with a tie that tells jokes. That's Oh, that would be that's cool. That's the next one. Oh, that seems a joke tie. Tie. Yeah. All right. You had enough? It's a joke tie, and then there's going to be a joke tampon. Uh, yeah, boy, a three-year-old needs a tie. Hey, okay. Rick. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey. Uh, not that we need reassuring that Jackie he was uh, a loser, but thank God for Artie because we couldn't take Jackie anymore. That was that was then. Uh, well, there's room for everybody. Uh, well, there's room thank for God everybody. for Artie. Uh, Artie's a hundred times better. There you go. Well, that's only some people's opinion, Artie. You know that's that. right. Uh, uh, I believe me, I know it. <laughs> so you've heard that. I mean, yeah, I've heard. I've heard both of us. <laughs> I, I uh, love you both, you know, <laughs> but I love you very much. It's good to be in that That's big group. I love working with you. Let's put it that way. <laughs> he might actually cry if you left. Yeah, I would be upset. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, oh, boy. Anything else in the news? Yeah, that 57-year-old woman who had the twins yesterday. I was talking about her. She was going in for a cesarean section. She's Curtis Lee with sister. The yeah. guy who uh, runs the really? Guardian Angels, I didn't know that. Yeah. Her name is uh, Alita St. James. And then I'm looking at the grandparents in the paper today, and they're Grandma Sliwa and Grandpa Sliwa. Her, the baby's grandmother is 80 years old. Yeah, the most selfish thing a woman can do, or a man, is uh, to have children, uh, especially a woman who doesn't have a husband. 57 years old. They have one woman with toddlers. She's 60 years old. Her husband just died of a heart She's attack. She's 57 <laughs> now, and her husband died. She probably killed him with those kids, running around with those kids. Well, I don't know what did it, but, uh, you know, the thing is that it's selfish because who's going to raise these kids when you're, when you're old or gone? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I can help. <laughs> oh, the joke man. Yeah. They're going to be unpopular, those kids. <laughs> That'll make that kid popular. When, when Mama's falling asleep in a soap. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Canoe come out and play with me? <laughs> ah. I'm just going to have some Jim Beam. You go play with your joke master, too. <laughs> the woman turns 57 this Friday, I think. So do I. And she... Endured three years and twenty-five thousand dollars worth of in vitro fertilization to make this miracle come true. Jackie turned fifty-seven, and those jokes turned four hundred and eight. What was I walked into a bar? She will be giving a press conference today. Mom's got a forger Celebrex prescription. You go play the joke master. Cesario is just jealous. He wishes he had a joke. No, first of all, he probably is making a ton of scratch. Oh, I'm sure it's killing. It's a, it's a funny little face. I'm the joke machine. Uh, I believe it's made by Excalibur. That seems to be very important. And if you touch the eye. <laughs> and Jackie's found out on his own that three-year-olds like it, too. Right. They don't know why. They say, Look. Originally, we started marketing this thing to five to eight-year-olds. You know what we discovered? Unpopular three-year-olds like it. <laughs> the nerdy three-year-olds are laughing because the nerdy eight-year-old is laughing. Right. Oh. This bonds nerds. You know what we found out? The black likes this. <laughs> the young black. It's the young black. But for some reason, the two-year-old hates it. We can't figure that out. We started out marketing this to white kids. The <laughs> then we found out the young blacks liked it. <laughs> Particularly the dark-skinned blacks with big lips the and nerdy, thick nose. The nerdy blacks. Yes. That's nerdy blacks. Knock, knock, knock in Spanish. In the, the nerdy blacks saw the white kids laughing. You know, like these blacks who can't rap. They seem to like this. Why didn't the rooster cross the road? It was two chickens. <laughs> pummel, pummel, smash into your locker. <laughs> Put in your food plate. <laughs> hey, wiener dog's got a joke machine. <laughs> smash, creeper, pound. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Yasser Arafat <laughs> went from dead to back to life to fading fast yesterday, all in one day. They finally met... <laughs> Yeah, it was confusing for Jews. They didn't know whether to celebrate, then they stopped the celebration, and they had, they, and then they had a big celebration. <laughs> oh. They finally let some of the PLO people come in and yeah. see him, and immediately one of them said, "He's dead," but he's still <laughs> even the PLO wants him out. <laughs> Get him a joke machine. A joke about the toe. What did the overweight Arab say? <laughs> yes, sir, I am fat. <laughs> hey, there you go. I got, I got my first joke for my. There you go. Right there, Dad. <laughs> it's machine ready. Is that right? I guess the air was cool. But I don't know if your jokes would help it's unpopular three year olds meet other children. <laughs> My joke was a little political. Yeah. It's a little over. I don't know right. if the kids get into that, are you? Yes, yes sir, I am fat. Here, you do it. I can get you a deal. <laughs> Right. Yes, Robin? Yes, so anyway, they're still arguing. Uh, the um, Palestinian, <laughs> Palestinians and Muslims do not believe in euthanasia, Howard, so they're going to leave him on the machine. There'll be no unplugging. They don't like the young kids in Asia? <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Hey, I'll, see you I'll, see I'll see you later. I'll see you later, alligator. <laughs> Punch, slap, 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 cut your hair wrong. Give me your lunch face. money. <laughs> they right, say he, sla he lapsed into a deeper coma because he had bleeding in his brain, and uh, these are probably the final days. A cleric was called to the bedside. Wow. Got to take a short break. We'll come back. We'll wrap everything up. Jeff Cesario this Thursday through Sunday at Hilarity, Hilarity's 4th Street Theater in Cleveland, Ohio. For tickets, call 216-241-7425 and check out Jeff at sportalicious.com. <laughs> You hit the eye, it repeats. So if a kid hears a joke and he really loves it, he runs up and says, Mommy, Mommy, listen to this one. He hits the eye and replays it. Right. Child molesters walk in the woods with a little kid. The kid says, It's dark, I'm scared. The child molester says, You think you're scared? I gotta walk back alone. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are gonna love this. They love it. A black guy walks into a bank in Mississippi. He goes up to the manager. He says, I'm looking for a job. The manager says, There's a position opening up tomorrow. The black guy says, You're joking. Well, yeah, but you started it. <laughs> For a kid that's not that popular, it's fantastic because all of a sudden he's part of the gang. <laughs> For a racist kid. Oh, dear. That's good, right? What is that? Part of the Aryan gang. There you go. <laughs> Jeff Cesario joining us. Well, we got to wrap up the news. So. I know, I know. You Scott know. Peterson, they've uh, thrown out one juror, bringing in another one. Now they have to start the deliberations. <laughs> some all of these jurors. Again. Some of these jurors are such nundex. This one juror, you know, they tell you when you sit on a jury, don't like read any newspapers, don't look outside for, you know, just listen to the evidence yeah. and make your decision. You got to base it on what was presented at trial. So some woman went on the internet to do her own investigation of the trial. Smart. So they threw her off the jury, and you know, they, she listed uh, the internet browsing as her hobby, and uh, she had to act on it. She was going to do her own investigation, like like she's a detective. Right. She's got all the info. Wow. So they had to throw her off the jury. So now they've brought in one of the alternates, and they have to start from scratch again. Mm -hmm. So that'll be going on. <laughs> so they got somebody get somebody who doesn't even know computers now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, oh, that's me. Hey, hey, I'll don't, do it. Don't I'm even have a TV. I'm popular. I didn't even know boats float. <laughs> President Bush went to visit some of the wounded, uh, some of the casualties from uh, this the war election. in Iraq. Oh, well, no. all of us are. He's not visiting any of us casualties from the election. But he is visiting casualties from the war, something he wouldn't talk about during uh, his campaign. Here he spoke to reporters at uh, Walter Reed Army Hospital, C2. We've got troops in harm's way in the Fallujah area right now, and our prayers are with the soldiers and their loved ones as they're doing the hard work necessary. We lost a herd of elephants. Big bull peep. <laughs> <laughs> Play him a joke machine. Yeah, maybe he should take the joke machine when he goes. That'll cheer up the troops. Anything else, Robin? Uh, the uh, people at the, um, I guess there, somebody did a study, and they discovered that the airline water, you know, the water you get on the airplane yeah. is dirty. Oh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> They've been saying for years, always drink bottled water on the airplane because you don't know where that water comes from. It comes from, from your pee. Yeah, so. just because when you take a leak in a plane, it just it just splashes all over the place. 
Hello? Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what, I, that's what happens to me. <laughs> and how does that get in the water supply? Well, because I go in the sink. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wacky. I get drunk. I like to goof around. <laughs> that's Tony's idea of a joke. Yeah. Put that in a box. Bill Clinton is out talking about why the de Democrats lost the election. President uh, Bush, he says, used the Massachusetts Supreme Court's ruling on gay marriage to turn public attention away from other more important issues. D4. With one decision of one Supreme Court, we all of a sudden had a Constitution amendment designed, I think, more to whip people up, inflame them, scare them, make them feel threatened, and make them stop thinking about other issues. So I guess he's saying was a dry hole. that the Republicans were playing sleight of hand. He also says Democrats must talk to American people about moral conviction, D5. I do not believe that the Democrats can seek to be a truly national party. They may win some more national elections, but we cannot be nationally competitive unless we feel comfortable talking about our convictions. He also said that Monica Lewinsky was a dry hole. I really Monica think it's Lewinsky funny. Was a dry hole. He oh. said it with conviction. <laughs> yeah. Monica Lewinsky was a dry hole. That it's funny that he's saying uh, Democrats must address moral issues. Yeah. He's the reason they're in question. <laughs> Although that dude could campaign. <laughs> oh, he loved he Monica Lewinsky. Lewinsky. He was the best. He, he would have won this. He election. was, but the reason the Democrats are fighting the morality issue is because they kept him around. What did you say, Mr. President? Hillary loved Monica Lewinsky's box. All right. <laughs> really. Wow. Hillary loved Monica Lewinsky. Finger. Oh. <laughs> and, uh. That's the President Clinton joke machine. <laughs> right in there. the paper today, they're giving some reviews to Tom Hanks' new movie. Uh oh, what is it? Polar that? Express, and he's, uh, getting lauded for his five Excellent. voice performance. Well. He plays five different characters in the movie. Here's one of his characters. What would you call a chicken who thinks he's Superman? Cluck Kent. <laughs> <laughs> And they're giving it three and a half stars. It's um, an unusual looking movie. It uh, uses that uh, performance capture technique. So Five different voices, huh? Yeah. I can do five different voices in a movie if anyone wants to hire me. Hi, this is one of my voices. Here's another one. Hey, everybody, what's happening? Hi, Daddy. There's another one. That's right. Then I could use my regular voice. Yeah. I'm going to talk right there. <laughs> Fine, that's it. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh, My whole wang hurt. Yeah. And that's what's happening. <laughs>